Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to answer these 8 questions and we have to start first with uh, this single strand of the DNA, this is original strand and we know the sequence of this strand and here is the second strand of the DNA and we have to fill uh, complementary positions with correct nucleic acids. In order to do so, everything you have to know that adenine base pairs with thymine and cytosine base pairs with guanine. Now when we know this information, we can fill second complementary strand of the DNA, knowing the sequence of one strand, now we can fill the second. So cytosine base pairs with guanine, adenine with thymine, guanine with cytosine, guanine with cytosine, thymine here, thymine here, adenine, adenine, cytosine, guanine, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and adenine here. According to our picture, the strand of the double strand of the DNA is going to be template strand of the DNA and this is going to be coding strand of the DNA. In just a half a minute you will learn why it's called coding strand of the DNA. The rules are going to be pretty much the same, but because now we are building messenger RNA strand, instead of thymine in messenger RNA, we are going to have uracil. So in messenger RNA, thymine would be substituted with uracil. So guanine with spur with cytosine, thymine with adenine, cytosine with guanine, guanine, adenine here, adenine here, uracil, uracil, guanine, cytosine, uracil, cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. How I have been able to fill this position so fast? Actually, I just was looking at this strand of the DNA and as you see, the sequence, this amino acids are going to be the same with only one exception when we have here on this coding strand of the DNA thymine, here we have uracils. Thymine here, uracil here, and the rest of the sequence is going to be the same. Hence the name of this strand of the DNA, coding strand of the DNA. And this is going to be template strand of the DNA. Messenger RNA is going to be complementary to this template strand of the DNA. Hence the sequence is going to be the same as other complementary strand of the DNA with one exception which I already told you. Now let's answer the first question, where is messenger RNA synthesized, transcription or translation? How we call this process? We call this process transcription. So let's underline, this is transcription. When messenger RNA would be produced, we call this process transcription. We also can give prime ends, messenger RNA always transcribed from five prime end direction to three prime end direction. This gives us information that template strand of the DNA is going to be three prime end and five prime end. And coding strand of the DNA, which is going to be complementary, is going to have five prime end here and three prime end here. And as you see, not only the sequence is going to be the same as in messenger RNA, but also prime ends are going to be the same. Now you also have to know that amino acids are specified by three nucleotides, which we call codons or three nucleotides. So we have one, two, three codons, four and five. Sometimes this last position in three nucleotide can be different, but still such three nucleotide would specify the same amino acid. We call this position wobbling position. So let me circle this third position in each trinucleotide or codon as wobbling position. And now take a look, here is the sequence of the tRNA. If we have in messenger RNA trinucleotides which we call codons, in tRNA sequence which is going to be complementary to the messenger RNA, we call 
anti-codon sequence. If you take a look, tRNA has RNA in its name and messenger RNA has RNA in its name. So that means that we are not going to find thymine here. Instead, we are going to find uracil. tRNAs would be complementary to this messenger RNA codons. And because messenger RNA codons complementary to template strand of the DNA, the sequence of the tRNA is going to be the same as the sequence of the template strand of the DNA. And the difference is going to be, again, that thymine would be substituted with uracil. So let's fill this position. So cytosine by spur with guanine and adenine with uracil, guanine with cytosine, cytosine uracil, uracil here, adenine, adenine here, cytosine, guanine, adenine, guanine, cytosine, uracil, and adenine. Again, when I fill this five anticodons, I just was looking at the template strand of the DNA, and as you see, sequence is the same. Now, what about 5 prime ends and 3 prime ends where they have to be? If messenger RNA is a single molecule, continuous molecule, but tRNAs is going to be individuals, small RNAs. We also can specify 5 prime end and 3 prime end. Take a look. For example, if you'll take one, this codon, it has 5 prime end, and we also can say that Another 3 prime end is going to be here. If we'll take a look at this codon, 5 prime end is going to be here and 3 prime end here. If we cut this messenger RNA here, then here we are going to have 5 prime end. So 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here, 5 prime end, 3 prime end, 5 prime end, and 3 prime end. So on the overall, if we join them together, we have one free 5 prime end and one free 3 prime end. But if we cut them to pieces, every piece would have 5 and 3 prime ends. And because tRNAs are complementary to these codons, tRNAs anticodons, so we are going to have 3 prime end here and 5 prime end here. 3 prime end here. 5 prime and here, 3 prime and here, 5 prime and here, 3 prime and here, 5 prime and here, 3 prime and here, and 5 prime and here. Of course, tRNAs are not this short. tRNAs look like this. So it looks something like this with three loops. And we have here 5 prime and and 3 prime end and anticodon would be this position of three nucleotides and as you see 5 prime end is going to be here and 3 prime end is going to be here if we just take this fragment which we call anticodon which is going to be complementary to the codon of the messenger RNA. Now let's check the second question. Does messenger RNA has codons or anticodons? Messenger RNA have codons. Now we are going to specify amino acids that this tRNAs would bring. This anticodons would be complementary to this codons. And here you see codons table. Usually you don't find anticodon table. We don't need. We just need codon table. This is a sequence which we can find in the uh, messenger RNA. And you have to understand that here on the left side is a 5 prime end, and here on the right side is 3 prime end. So we just read like this from 5 prime end to 3 prime end, each codon. So the first codon sequence is C A G. Let's find this C, this row. Then A, this is going to be this column. So C, A, G. And as you see, this is glutamine. So let's put this three-letter abbreviation in this empty box. 
and next is G A A, G A and A. And this is glutamic acid, G L U. Next U U G U U and G. So this is leucine L E U. Next is a sequence C U C. Let's check C U C. So this is leucine again. As you see, six codon specifies this amino acid. That means that this amino acid is very important. So another leucine here. And next is G A U. Let's find G A U. And this is aspartic acid. Trilate abbreviation A S P. Just like messenger RNA starts at the 5' end and ends at 3' ends, polypeptide chain also has beginning and the end. So this is going to be the first amino acid and this is going to be the last amino acid. So this terminus we call amino terminus or N terminus and this terminus here we call C terminus or carboxylic acid terminus. When we know N terminus in polypeptide chain and C terminus, we know that this is going to be first amino acid, second, third, fourth and fifth and so on. So we know the order of the amino acids. Now let's check question number three. How many codons equal one amino acid, one or three? One codon specify one amino acid, but one codon consists of three nucleotides. We also call codon three nucleotide. So the correct answer as you see is going to be one. One codon specify one amino acid. And question number four, does tRNA bring amino acid to the nucleus or to ribosomes? tRNA brings amino acid to ribosomes. Next question is a polypeptide is a sequence of proteins or amino acids. Polypeptide is a long chain of amino acids and such long chain when it has its function we call protein. So polypeptide is a sequence of the small residues which we call amino acids. So let's underline and next question does tRNA have codons or anticodons? Messenger RNA has codons and tRNAs has anticodons. And question number seven, does tRNA transfer amino acids during transcription or translation? Transcription, we call such a process when messenger RNA would be made. So template strand of the DNA would be transcribed and messenger RNA would be made. But when polypeptide chain would be made using messenger RNA, we call this process translation. And the last question, Question number eight, are ribosomes the site where translation or transcription takes place? Ribosome is a place where translation takes place. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.